It's weird, but I'd love to live in a pineapple under the sea. Either that or I'm going to fly around in my house like Flintstone. Believe it or not there are many people who wish for this. Don't believe me. The first person who wished for this is Walt Disney. People are actually creating real-life homes based on their favorite cartoon character abodes. Here, we'll take a look at the top 10 real houses inspired by cartoons. Number 10. Minnie Mouse House The longtime girlfriend of Mickey Mouse is quite the homemaker. This adorable Minnie Mouse house can be found in two locations, at Mickey's Toontown in Disneyland, Florida, or at Mickey's Toontown in California. The cute pink and lavender exterior might be misleading, but it's fully equipped on the inside. While you are there, you can check the answering machine where you'll likely listen to messages from the squad. That is Goofy and Mickey. There will also be popcorn popping in the microwave and a cake baking in the oven. Number 9. The Jetsons Apartment This one is particularly intriguing, because in an odd twist of time, the Jetsons' futuristic apartment was actually inspired by architecture from the early 60s. This architecture itself was trying to mimic what people thought houses would look like in the future. In particular, the Jetsons' apartment complex was inspired by Los Angeles's famous chemosphere, a home that looks like a UFO with central heating, perched on a 30-foot high pole with a giant concrete pedestal. Despite what you may think, the home is actually well-suited to survive earthquakes, torrential storms, and just possibly an alien invasion. The chemosphere also inspired another cartoon home, even more directly that of actor Troy McClure of The Simpsons. Number 8. The Simpsons House the home of Marge, Lisa, Homer, Bart, and Maggie at 742 Evergreen Terrace is iconic. Back in 1997, the house was created for real by Fox Pepsi, Cola, and Kaufman as a giveaway, prize costing nearly $120,000. The replica is a 2,200 square foot, four bedroom home in Henderson, Nevada. The architects purportedly watched over 100 episodes of The Simpsons to gather enough info on the layout and design of the house as well as all of the artifacts inside of it. Sounds like a fun job to me. The detailing was pretty impressive, as 1,500 Simpsons themed props were stuffed inside the house, and it even included a replica of Bot's tree and a backyard barbecue. After 15 million entries, it was ultimately won by a retired factory worker from Kentucky who rather than take the house instead, chose a $7,000 to $5,000 payup. Guess they weren't much of a Simpsons fan. The house was then remodeled and all the Simpsons-themed stuff was removed, and eventually the house was sold in 2001. Number 7. Up House The Up House is the cute little colorful house that Carl and Ellie spent their lives living together. While the movie was a hit, so was the house, as it was eventually built in 2011 as part of a little girl's Make-A-Wish Foundation wish, built by Bangarder to builders in Utah. This 1950s-style home was painstakingly designed. It's accounted for every detail from the weather vane at the top of the house, to the mailbox, all the way to the light switches and the floorboards. It's cost almost $400,000 to build and even includes a basement, but not the balloons except on weekends. Apparently, the builder sometimes puts up a few for fun. Private buyers purchase the house in 2012 and have actually decided to keep much of the deck all the same as when the construction was completed. Number 6. The Hobbit House Homes are becoming extremely pricey these days, so one man who was fed up with the high prices in the countryside decided to build his own eco-friendly hobbit house. This amazing hobbit house was built by Simon Dale, a freelance photographer, who in spite of not being an architect or even a construction worker, managed to build this together with his father-in-law and help of neighbors with a little more than a hammer, a chisel, and a chainsaw. It took them just four months to have it finished and cost around 3,000 pounds. It was designed to be ecologically sustainable and uses a wood-burning stove for heat and solar panels to collect electricity. There's even a nearby spring to collect water and a compositing toilet. Simon says that anyone can achieve this type of building, which will amaze most people for Shire, especially those who appreciate the huts in J.R. Tolkien's books, including The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings. They're not strictly cartoons, but this was just too cool not to include. Number 5 Hello, Kitty House this cute pink painted house was 100% inspired by the most famous cat in history. All right, the second most famous. This Hello Kitty Villa is located in Taipei, Taiwan. But the widespread obsession for Hello Kitty is more than you can imagine, because this isn't the only replica in the world. There are other versions like this private residence in China that was built back in the 1990s by a man who had a few daughters who were obsessed with Hello Kitty. 
but that's not the only one in China either. This other version. This time in Shanghai can actually be rented, you can live in it as long as you want, but it's very expensive, at about two and a half thousand Chinese yuan a day on average, which equals about 400 American dollars a day. The only kitty the owner of this house is saying hello to is the one at his bank. Number 4. SpongeBob SquarePants House True, it's neither an actual pineapple nor on the ocean's floor, mostly because that would just drown the homeowner. But this giant structure in Australia is just one of many famous, big things that seem to cover the country of Australia, like so many discarded Vegemite jars. Other large objects include the big bunch of bananas, the big oyster, the big boxing crocodile, the big UUG boots, and the big mango, which at 33 feet high was actually stole. However, this pineapple structure itself is more of a sculpture and less of a habitable pad. If that saddens you, then you'll be glad to realize that there still is a real habitable version out there. Look no further than this real-life pineapple hotel, located in the Dominican Republic. This villa in particular was created by Nickelodeon and Nick Resort Punta, Kana. The interior furnishings are amazingly similar to those in the show, but don't get too excited. It's not exactly cheap to stay here. Only true SpongeBob lovers that can spare around $3,800 per night will be able to enjoy this 1,500 square foot of pure SpongeBob living that would definitely make Squidward jealous. Number 3. Barty House Many little girls dream of living out their girlish fantasies in a vivid pink beach house, much like Barbie's Malibu residence. Well, now they can, at least for a day or so on their birthday, due to the so-called Barbie. The dream house experience which is a 10,000-square-foot pink plastic paradise in Sunrise, Florida. It's a life-size replica of Barbie's Malibu Beach House and was a joint venture between Barbie's manufacturer, Mattel, and TMS Entertainment. According to its real estate agent, the dream house took less than a year to build and took more than 100 gallons of pink paint and 20 pounds of glitter. The installation includes the best of Barbie, $350 and collector memorabilia of Barbie's friends, family, and of course the very man she's been stalking for years, Ken. As part of the girlish adventure, parents can book the venue for birthday parties and pay their children to strut down the fashion runway of course, only after model training, makeup, hair styling, and the chance to choose an outfit. If you actually want to live in a similar house, then the closest you'll get is this modern Barbie house created by interior decorator, Jonathan Adler. On the eve of Barbie's 50th birthday, he decked out a 3,500-square-foot pad in March 2009, and it overlooks the Pacific Ocean to look like the famous doll's home, located in Malibu, California. Number 2. Snow White Cottage Just outside Seattle resides a stunning Snow White-themed cottage. Apparently, the first part of this home was built in the early 1970s, and the owners continued working on it because they were prompted to construct a home more in tune with the natural world. As opposed to a common style of home, this 2,800 square foot four bedroom, stored above home has hand built doors that have ornate hinges and latches carved wooden beams and walls that evoke a magical cave. It's fit for a Disney princess like Snow White, or maybe seven dwarfs too. And last year it was listed for sale at a cool 925,000 US dollars. Number one, Flint Stone's house. In 1976, architect William Nicholson designed this series of reddish bubbles in Hillsborough, California, as a sort of experiment of new building materials, the dome-shaped house named after the famous cartoon, because it resembles the Stone Age home. Fred and Wilma lived in is made of wire mesh that was inflated by balloons and shot with shotcrete. Originally off-white in color, it was repainted a deep orange in the early 2000s. The interior is all white keeping the home cool in the California summers, and it features three stunning bedrooms and two bathrooms. If the $4 million sale price is a little too steep and you only want to live like a caveman for a day or so, then try this cave hotel, which nestles into the rocks of South Africa's Sederberg Mountains. Rooms are actually set in 10 different mini caves with spectacular mountain views. And if that's not enough, there is this outcrop open air, where guests can sleep under the stars, enjoying the celestial show. Thanks to a lack of light pollution and surrounding civilization, there's actually a few more that could get away with being called a Flintstones house. And if you're interested, click this video here for two other amazing houses of similar design. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it to like and subscribe as well as clicking that bell button to stay notified. It'll keep you up to date with our future videos. Thanks for watching.